going? Walk here. I'm ready now. First, I need to go to Zasilkovna. That is a machine for your package. Instead of delivering it to your house, you will select that box and your package will be delivered to that box. So I'm not sure how it works and it will be my first time and I will try to find out. Yes, I'm very excited getting that package. And actually that package just came from my friend. She went home to the Philippines last month and she just arrived last week. And then she bought us something like a remembrance in the Philippines. So I'm very excited to get that package. Here is the Cecil Kovna parcel, but I really don't know how can I open this one to get my parcel so i guess i have to so according to this here i need to upload the silkovna application and then enter the box and then i have to put the pin code i think and then it's the time i can open the box by scanning the qr code so let's see let's see. open the box So after I set up, I need to open the box. Here. Take it. I guess I didn't have anything yet. We'll see. So guys, I got it. So we will open it later. For me, autumn is nice. But because of the gloomy weather, it makes it very depressing to look. But if it's sunny and everything is yellow and everything in canvas color for sure it's really it's really really beautiful because before when before i came here in the czech republic i thought that it was it was a dream for me to experience different seasons because in the philippines you only have two seasons like sunny season and also rainy season so for us um from the world, third world country who only have two seasons it's really um, new for us, especially that we dream of experiencing spring, autumn, as well as winter. So, but for me, since it's already my two autumn, like, because I came here during autumn as well last year, and now it's autumn again here. So the first time I was here, I was really, really surprised, and <laughs> everything for me looks very beautiful. But now, um, I feel bored <laughs> seeing it, especially during rainy. I mean, if it's raining, because during autumn, it's always raining. So as you can see, the weather is very gloomy. And everyone is also gloomy. So, yeah, that's how it is here. And the weather is also becoming colder compared to summer and also spring. The weather is very comfortable. So now I need to find place where I can withdraw money. I'm not sure if the bus accepts ATM or cash. I found the ATM machine, guys, but I supposed to have a bus at 201. Um, there was a woman before me, and it took her 15 minutes to find out how she can withdraw because she had troubles and took me a lot of time to wait. So I wasn't able to catch my bus. Now I'm gonna wait for the bus 15 minutes from now so almost there went out from the bus and now I have to walk for 10 minutes and it's really nice because the sun just came out and it feels so refreshing just like unlike earlier it will be my first time moving this place hope I won't be in danger but you know Czech Republic is a very safe country 
so I'm not scared. I have to walk out of nowhere. <laughs> um, it, it looks like I'm going to a forest, but I hope I won't be in danger this time. The Google map is taking me to a secluded area. I'm not sure where I am going. Um, I don't know. There's nothing to walk here. <laughs> Kuba just arrived with motorbike because he knew that I was lost. Um, because I'm sharing my location to him and. <laughs> He's here to save me from danger. Yeah. Right? As always. <laughs> what? This is so fun. Leave me. Cannot use this on the road. This is crazy. <laughs> We're not allowed to drive this one on the road, but is going to do it illegally. I hope police officers will not catch us. So this is how it looks like. <laughs> Your boss is there? No. It's only you here? No, he was here all day with his daughters because they are not at school. <laughs> because I got lost the Google map was giving me something different I was trying to figure out how can I get to Kuba's farm and it's giving me to the forest so I got lost so I had to call Kuba to pick me up so it's not surprise anymore that's why he was running so far just to pick me up because he was very worried that I might be I might be in danger because it was already a forest and there might be crazy people out there so let's explore Kuba's work. <laughs> Kuba is working as a farmer. He is a farmer and they're working with um, crops, with big tractors, with um, here the tractors there. And there are so many cuts here as well. Like kittens, kittens, they have more than five cats. Baby, don't take. Baby, what? What did you? What was? That was animal abuse. <laughs> okay, so I am at Kuba's workplace office. So, men are so weird. I just see at Kuba's workplace they have something like here. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my. No, it's naked. We will take you on a farm tour. Were you surprised that I was here? Of course I was. <laughs> Are you mad? Up until that time I could see you were lost. Because <laughs> I already don't know how to use Google Maps. <laughs> it's so shameful. I'm already 26 but I'm still having a hard time using Google Maps. You can see what you see and then if you don't know you can ask. Mm -hmm. This is what you made last time, right? Yeah, last year there were no doors. Yeah, they made this building. Um, what this for? Building? There is a garage inside. Uh huh. We can have a look there as well. It's a garage. But last year when I came here, there was no roof, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, we will explore to the chickens. Can we steal one? to cook 
Chicken and laying eggs you eat. <laughs> there is a roast to one as well. Just kidding guys. But yeah, there. Here's the chicken. This rooster. <gasps> That's a very huge rooster. And it's very fat. Roosters in the Philippines are very skinny. And roosters here are the same like people here are very big. <laughs> How many cats you have here? Huh? How many cats you have here? Kuma <laughs> said he, he cannot even count it because there are a lot. There are so many cats. Uh, are you also feeding cats here? Um, well, who's feeding it? We have one colleague who is taking, taking care of them. He's the only one who loves them. Uh huh. And all of us, the others, hate them. <laughs> yeah, cats are quite annoying sometimes, but sometimes they're adorable. Here. It's a garage for tractors? Yeah. How many tractors do you have here? One, two, three, four, five. And five tractors and big trucks as well for um, transferring crops and goods. Crazy. Here it's is insane. Our garage where we repair. And when we don't want to work and it's cold outside, we just sit here. Mm -hmm. But our boss mustn't find out. I hope he is not watching the video. <laughs> I'm going to show you all the storage of our whole year work. What we harvested this year. So, mm -hmm. all, all You were worried that I will be left there, right? Yeah. <laughs> there inside. Because <laughs> I'm clumsy. You want to sit into the tractor? Not really. I already sit. I already did before many times. Many. Driving tractor as well, I did before. So, this is the storage of crops. Huh, what kind of crops? This is crazy. This is a very big area. Crazy. It's, it's It looks like a sand already. Look yeah, at that. Are we allowed to step on it? Yeah. No, it's wet. What if I will, the mud will next to me? I will die then. We'll be buried, but from this, it's made the bread we all are eating. This is crazy. And how many breads we can bake from this? And then when you will go, you are going to sell it. Once the price price is good. <laughs> like once the prices are higher. Yep. So what if it will be like spoiled? We are trying not to are make going to it. Eat it. No. <laughs> but it can come. Oh my god, wait, my shoes. <laughs> and here is the thing which is responsible for all that harvest. We had two, but the one burned. So, what happened after it was burned? It burned. It's and sitting there in the junkyard. Really? So there's no option to repair it? Yeah. No, it's burned totally. And imagine it costs millions. No. See? Crazy. Wow. Crazy. So I'm surprised how it looks like here. It's my first time seeing it here. Even if I was here already for so many times. But when I came here before, it was only like with Kuba because he was refilling his gas on his, on his car. That's why I wasn't able to see it. Please help me. 
Gwen has struggles. Oh, can you see my feet? She's buried in the barley. Madame, Madame. In the farm. <laughs> Madame in the farm. We are going home now. So much happenings today. So many things happened. <laughs> right? No. I was really worried earlier that I got lost. I thought someone would like kill me and rape me and then throw me away and then Kubak will never find me. But then, uh, that's, that's also the good thing that I called him. So, yep. Here it is, I got it. And let's open it together. So, I'm very excited. Actually, there are two t-shirts. Two t-shirts from the Philippines. Both black, it's because um, it's like a couple t-shirt for us. Let's try it soon. -da -da so there is a Filipinas design. Um, Filipinas and there is a Philippines flag. Uh, so I, for sure, some people would see me wearing this shirt, would would think that this is a Czech flag. But actually, this is not a Czech flag. Um, it is a Philippines flag. It's just that the color is the same, like Czech flag. They also have a blue, um, blue, blue, red, and also white. But it's just that the Philippines have a um three stars and sun i'll try to oh if it's to me i would like to wear it at school but yeah this is very nice i like it and here it is guys i finally fit into the t-shirt gwen did as well <laughs> so, so short. finally it's like literally couple t-shirts we can represent the philippines here in the europe like the size is perfect the material is fine as well but the only thing the filipino xl size is not the same like european i'm it's a little bit slim for me but it's still okay it's perfect t-shirt mm -hmm. thank you thank you to ruby <laughs> ruby ann thank you ruby so guys, that's all for today's video. It was for me. It was um, a really crazy adventure that I did today, <laughs> getting lost in the forest, visiting Cuba surprisingly, and it was supposed to be a surprise, but it turned out to be not. And here we are, guys, in the end of the video. So I hope you enjoyed the moment when my Filipina got lost here in Czech Republic, even with using Google Maps. It was not my first time getting lost, actually. You were not helping. <laughs> Even if I use Google. <laughs> but luckily there was a prince on a blue horse. Yeah. Blue unicorn who saved her. Yeah. Luckily. Mm -hmm. And that's all guys. So thank you guys for watching. We appreciate the huge support from your side. We are very grateful. You are making us feel and motivate to do much more better every time. So see you in the next video. Take care.